Hi everyone, my name is Max Makaka and I play for Watford FC and I'm a midfielder. My name is Max Makaka and I play for Watford FC. Um, a young Congolese man who's trying to make a life out of this country, so yeah, hopefully we do make it. For me, it was uh, a great thing and a great news for myself and my family, because uh, it basically shows that uh, that I have a talent, and then if, but people actually do know about me, and then people are actually watching over me, so see, I was really happy about it, because it gives me the confidence to focus and even uh, want to work even more trying to be the better person in the future. Well, to be fair, um, it, was, it was a difficult moment for me at that time because, um, you know, when you're young and you get an opportunity of different clubs coming towards you and you got to be able to, to think of the right to make, uh, to make the right choice, the, the right decision, and I thought uh, Watford was the right choice for me. Uh, people might think that's a small club, but for me, I wasn't looking at the small like the club is. I was thinking about tomorrow, and then an opportunity that I could could have got like the opportunities that I have today. Maybe if I went to Arsenal or the bigger clubs, I couldn't get it. Uh, opportunities that I have got today, like Watford's giving me like uh, great opportunities and chances that I'm really expressing myself over there. So, which the future looks great for me, so that's why I chose Watford, because I sought the future. Well, it's something that we're all hoping to, 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 to see one day. Well, I believe, because uh, I am a strong Christian, and I believe that uh, nothing's impossible with God, so I've got, I know I've got God, so I know it will be possible and my future will be brilliant and great so I just can't wait to, to, to be there that's, that's all I'm waiting for and I know it's coming you know it's, it's gonna be hard but the, 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 the most important thing for our team is uh, to keep the momentum uh, from where we, we, we've got so far and we've been a brilliant team winning so much games and scoring a lot of goals. So all we have to do now is to focus and, and, and keep, keep it going and keep it moving to, 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 to further. That's, that's how we're going to be better players, by keeping the same performance every day, performing great. So that's, that's going to that's gonna make us uh, the better players. So yeah, we're going to keep that going, hopefully. Uh, to be honest, my relationship with my teammates and, uh, and the club and everyone around me is great. And as uh, as I am known as a funny person and a very nice person, yeah, and, uh, and I have a good communication with everyone else. So I think uh, I think my relationship is great with everyone. Yeah. You know, it was awful. It was dreadful, like losing the last game. And it's Peterborough. It was a really, it was a difficult game. The both team really wanted to show their coaches what they're made of. Uh, I think that was the hardest game that we've ever played because both team really wanted to, to, to be on top of the, the last game. And I think uh, as a team we, we worked really hard, but you know the better team always win. So I think Peterborough that like, they they were the better team because they they did everything. They worked hard. They worked the socks off to, to, to actually come up to beat us because we are also a difficult team to beat. So I think it was an unlucky game for us. It takes a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of uh, determination to, 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 to be picked because we're in the Premier League now, that's just a different world. You know, the expectation has gone up high. You, you've got to give everything. You've got to be, beside the talent, you, got, you, you have to be that hard-working person who the manager can trust you and put you into with the first team players because in the first team team there, there are lots of different great players from different places and then to be with them you have to be uh, a kid that's willing to work hard, is willing to give everything and not being afraid of the different type of players but 
showing what you got. So I think it's gonna take a lot of hard work into, uh, yeah. Uh, the best player in my position, uh, I would say, I've got so many of them, but I'll try and shorten them. I think the greatest player on my position uh, of all time is always going to be Xavi Iniesta. Although I also like Patrick Vieira, which I think he plays the same role as me. So, yeah, I would say Xavi Iniesta. Cause, and Andrea Pirlo, we cannot forget about him, he's just a legend. My preparation uh, is very simple and easy for me. This is how I prepare my game every day, is mostly because uh, before the game, you get given targets and, uh, and, and stuff that we need to do at the game. But for me to get into that, I always listen to gospel music. That, that's, that's just the way of me getting my head around and trying to think of what I need to do. So I think gospel music really helps me a lot. To, to, to focus on what I have to do for the game, so that's how I prepare my game. And mostly beside the training side and stuff, but off the pitch, that, that's how I prepare my game so you to get into the game. Well, honestly, that's um, boosted our confidence and our ambitions, because we've got to, because um, that's where we need to be, that's where we need to be, because our first team have already worked hard and they got us back into the Premier League so and I see every young man in academy right now is, is, is willing to, to work hard to be the best so you can be seen again to, to, to get given a chance with the, the first team so I think uh, the ambition has gone up high so we, we, we have to work hard the, in, in every way technically mentally socially everything has to be boosted up because we're in top now so we have to be the best to be on the top. I think uh, my teammates really appreciate the work I do in, in the team because uh, I play a big role in the team and mostly the, the team's really relying on me sometimes because I'm a hard working person and I, I can run a lot, I've got a lot of stamina, energy, you know, I can give a lot to my team so I think my team always appreciate what I do for the team so yeah. Lot to be in the that's, that's a legend. Yeah, yeah. He, he strikes me because uh, he's, he's got something that's just natural, it's out of the world. Uh, every time I watch him, I used to watch him a lot, and even still now, I watch his old videos and I see some of the stuff that person did. I've never seen anyone does it till now, even Messi. Just, they're, they're different players, but I think Zinedine Zidane is the one that really strikes me all the way. If I had to be a car, wow, that's a, that's a funny question, but it's a good question. I love cars, so I'd, I'd love to be um, Aston Martin. Yeah, <laughs> Aston Martin, because uh, I just like the shape of me. It looks really professional. It's fast, just like me. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I, like, I like Aston Martin. It's, it's very good. I like that it's just shape and everything. Depends on, on, on what and how I feel sometimes. Because well. sometimes I do want to be a bit more fashion, like you know, jeans and trainers and stuff. But mostly when I go to church and uh, I dress myself like a bit more shirt, suit, tight, smart, you know. Yeah, so I think I'll do both. both. To be fair, my main position is midfield, but I sometimes try to, to play a little bit out wide, that wing, wing guard. Sometimes I try to be a centre back. Yeah, so I think I can play different positions as well, that, which is good for me as well, because uh, then which that's how the manager like these days, a uh, player that can play everywhere. So and I think uh, I'm not bad into that side. So. I'd love to be around my Congolese family because I, I am that type of person who wants you to, to, to communicate with everyone. But I think the time is not really allowing me to do that. So because because uh, of the time, I have less time uh, besides football. Like more time, I'm always into football, so I really don't have enough time to do. 
to get myself far and, and uh, collaborate with others. So uh, I think the problem is that I just have less time, but I would love to to communicate with others. That's that's what I really love doing, uh, communicating with other people. Well, to be, I'm gonna be straight. Congolese music, I listen to gospel only. Gospel only, yeah. That's 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 how, how I am, and that's how my family my family uh, brought me up. It's just mostly uh, gospel music. This is advice for like, for every young Congolese. There's always something to do, and, and we've got to think about our future. That we've got such a great opportunity to be in this country, so we've got to make the most of it. You know, it's not just sports and, and everything, education. You know, we've got we've got the we've got to get something out of it. So, so one day we want everyone in this country to talk about us, which is the most important thing to remark a big mark in this country because we're Congolese kids. We need to make something great for this country and for our generation. So. That's all I can say for every young generation, young Congolese.